Hello everyone! Today's tutorial will learn how to create a dispersion effect in Photoshop. First, let's understand the term dispersion. It is the action or process of distributing things or people over a wide area. In physics, it is the separation of white light into colors or of any radiation according to wavelength. So let's apply dispersion to our subject using Photoshop. Let's do it! First, open the photo in the Photoshop and duplicate the background layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Select the background layer and click Lasso tool. Start using the Lasso tool and select the subject by creating a line around the photo. Once you are done, right-click and select Fill. Select Content Aware, then click OK. Select the layer 1, click the quick selection tool, and start selecting the main photo or the subject, not including the background. Once you are done with the selection, hit select and mask. If you are using a different version, select refine edge. Click Refine Edge Brush Tool and start using it to refine the area, especially the hair area. Once you're done, don't forget to select the layer mask in the Output tool before you hit OK. Then duplicate the layer 1 and rename it into Dispersion Effect. Right-click the Mask layer of Dispersion Effect layer and choose Apply Layer Mask. Right-click the dispersion layer and duplicate it or Ctrl plus J. Select the dispersion effect layer and click filter menu and choose liquify. Now click the liquify icon and warp the subject. What is warp? It is a twist or distortion in the shape of something. For done, hit OK. Then, click the mask icon. Hold Alt while clicking on the white mask. Select a box by using the marker tool and right-click the box. Then click Fill, select black color. Click the mask icon. This time, hide the layer 1 and dispersion effect layers by clicking the eye icon. Select the basal layer with a white mask and change the color of the foreground into black. Then click the brush tool. Click the brush menu and select the 1731 dispersion brush smaller particle. Remember you can choose any brush you prefer to use. Open up the brush panel. Remember, you have to rotate frequently the brush depends on the area you want to add the effect. Remember, don't afraid to do trial and error. I am not an expert in Photoshop, but I am only using my logic and practice. Remember, before doing an experiment, understand first the effect that you want to apply.
I keep on changing brushes to get the effect that I want. Use a smaller particle from inner than bigger particle to the outside. Use the erase tool if you don't like what you have done or you have done mistake. For brush and author info, please check the description box. Click the new fill or adjustment layer icon and click gradient map. See on the screen the color I selected. Then select soft layer and adjust the opacity. And that's for today. Hope you learned from this tutorial and hope you like it. If you have clarification, please comment. Remember, if you have knowledge, let others light their candles in it. Happy weekend everyone and stay safe. Ciao!